Godspeed, Eagle. This is a very big production. Data on. Altitudes are a little high. We're starting in 1969, but we're actually spanning out to 1974, and just in the first season. Control, how much fuel does he have left? 20 seconds, flight. We are recreating something that really did exist. We're recreating NASA. It's very surreal to be working on a show where you're working almost in three worlds. You're working on Earth in Houston, Texas. We're in space, and we're on the moon, on the lunar surface. The show kind of shifts between those three worlds. We are standing in Mission Control set, uh, which is an exact replica of the original Mission Control at NASA circa 1969. Our art department has made this to the square ends. The attention to detail is unbelievable, and the accuracy is incredible, especially in Mission Control. The hinges on the door, the color of the paint depends on the desks. It's perfect, down to the smallest detail depth of the research that it takes to sort of pull that stuff together is, is really exciting. Even I'm surprised at how good the sets look. Ah, very good. It's the set dressing. It's the props. In our show, props are such a key thing. So when you're walking through that room, every flight plan on the desk at a console is a real flight plan. I remember our prop master, Jamie, once came in really excited because he was like, we got a wrench that is the actual wrench that they used on an Apollo mission. It's like that's the level of detail that they hit. We wanted to make sure that we were 100% accurate. A uh, great importance was put on how accurate everything was to the time period. It's really important to the actors that they have a physical object that they can interact with that helps them come into their character. The level of authenticity at every single level, from wardrobe to set to the period detail of our makeup, our everything, it all contributes. And it's not arbitrary. It's very helpful for your performance because you step into this world that is very meticulously built and it just feels truthful and it just feels right. Anytime actors can walk on a stage that looks like real life, I think it helps transport them into the characters. You really feel like you're transported to the 60s. Jill, our costume designer, is one of our key storytellers. Costume really does tell a story. It tells you who the characters are, where they've come from, and sometimes even where they're going. Ron Moore really wanted this to feel like middle America, like Houston. We really wanted to capture that. So it became a lot of research. And what was interesting for me when I started researching the 60s is so much of the 60s research is in black and white. So it got very tricky to kind of put together a color palette. And that's when I went to the Sears catalogs, which were really perfect for this show because that's middle America. They really gave a range of everything from housewife to suits for secretaries and school teachers. I think that this will resonate with a lot of people. I love the detail in the sets. I love walking onto the sets and just losing myself kind of takes you back to where all these things took place. The true collaboration, because in a writer's room, you can say anything. And we said a lot of things. We were very ambitious. Seeing what they've been able to pull off from the production design to the costumes to props, it's been incredible. We got the best seat in the house.